Hello there, this is Instructor Paul, and in this lecture, we're going to talk about Windows Server Update Services, or WSUS. In short, Windows Services Update Services, or WSUS, is a server role that allows administrators to control Windows updates within their domain. So Microsoft will release patches on a monthly basis that address different vulnerabilities and bug fixes to the Microsoft operating system. And you as an administrator can control whether or not your computers install certain updates, whether they're required or optional updates, etc. So it's pretty important that you install a WSS server within your domain and you use it to control and keep your network safe. Now there's a couple different ways that WSS can acquire updates. First, you can download updates directly from Microsoft. Now this is a viable option if your network has internet connectivity. Second, you could download updates from another WSUS server, which would be called an upstream server. You could also import files directly to your WSUS server. So if your server is disconnected from the internet, you can download the files onto a CD drive and then transfer those files to your offline WSUS server and then import them to your WSUS server, which will allow you to push them out to all of your client machines. The most important bullet point on this slide is that the WSUS server role should never be installed on a domain controller because you'll have access issues with the database. Okay, so here's an example of importing WSUS updates. Now on the left here, you can see we have an isolated network. And obviously, certain networks contain sensitive information and it's just better for them to be not connected to the internet. But how do you install these updates and patch all these critical vulnerabilities? Well, the way you do that is you have another network that is connected to the internet, but doesn't contain the same sensitive information. You get a WSUS server stood up or, or configured and installed on that network that has internet connectivity. You download the updates from Microsoft servers. Then you transfer those updates by a DVD or a USB drive over to the isolated network. And then that network can then pass out those updates. Now, an example of an upstream and downstream WSUS server would be an isolated network. It wouldn't even have to be a network that's disconnected from the internet, but a certain scenario where we have a WSUS server that is retrieving updates from another WSUS server. So we can see the downstream server, in this case on the left-hand side, is accepting or it's pulling its updates from the upstream server. Okay. Now, you might be asking, how does this work? How do we get it up and running? First, you add the WSUS server role to remember, not a domain controller. Then you configure the client computers with group policy. Now you either wait for the clients to check in with WSUS or you force an early check-in. And when you're first getting this set up, I recommend that you force an early check-in just so that you can see that things are working the way they're supposed to. Once you've done that, you organize your WSUS clients into computer groups. And this is good for testing purposes. I don't know what kind of networks you guys are going to be working on, but if you're working with developers, certain versions of .NET will make you know, their code not work and, and different things. So it's a good idea to just test your updates, have a test group of, say, four workstations or two workstations, and deploy test updates to that workstation. See if anything breaks, and if it's all good, just go ahead and deploy it out to the rest of your network. Now the monthly maintenance for this is to go through and approve updates for the specific computer groups. Now Patch Tuesday is a term that you'll need to be familiar with and it's generally the second and occasionally the fourth Tuesday of each month. And this is when Microsoft releases all their updates for the vulnerabilities. Okay, so that's an overview of WSUS or Windows Server Update Services. Great job getting through this lecture. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one, and let's build a Windows Server Update Services server.